I've taught at a number of different schools uh, and studied at a number of different schools. And the reason I came here and I've stayed here is because this is one of the strongest arts programs I've ever encountered at a liberal arts college. The professors at Dickinson College are professional artists, academics, and active research professionals at the top of their fields. They're not just teaching from textbooks. They willingly share their expertise, enriching your educational experience. It's very important uh, to, see your, to see your teachers perform, uh, to see your teachers practice. Of course, your senior teachers teach, but to see the whole realm of what's going on. It adds a different element to your understanding, not only of them as a person, but them as a musician and as your, to your own ideas of music. Most of our professors are from schools like Eastman and Juilliard, too. It's just that they decided that they wanted to teach at a liberal arts school, and you can still learn just as much. Of course, your professors in the arts are very supportive of what you're doing because they are working professionals, because they, are, they have the advantage of working out in the world and bringing that into the classroom, and then taking you out into the world with them. So you're getting both sides of that education, and it's really valuable. Of course, everyone who teaches here and in our department, they have all of the uh, degrees, the terminal degrees, to be able to teach at this level. But way beyond that credentialing, they need to have the experience. They need to be practicing artists or researchers in their own field to really, I think, be uh, a great teacher. The arts facilities at Dickinson College create opportunities for growth, expression, and excellence. There are outstanding performance spaces, such as Mathers Theatre and Rubendahl Recital Hall. For studio artists and art historians, there are the Goodyear Studios and Gallery, as well as the Trout Gallery, where students show their own work and can curate exhibitions as part of a distinctive historical methods seminar. But the college doesn't stop there with opportunities. You may join co-curricular activities directed by faculty or extracurricular groups run by students. You may walk across campus for a concert by an internationally known artist, go downtown to catch an art house film, or even take advantage of the cultural wealth of nearby Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. It adds up to a distinctively Dickinson experience. You know, I wanted to be busy. I wanted to be doing something. I wanted to feel like I was more than just a face in the classroom. You know, I feel like I'm actually contributing to the scholastic environment around because I'm playing Beethoven in the one concert and then that same night I can go rehearse Living on a Prayer or Walking on Sunshine with my acapella group. This is uh, the Goodyear Gallery uh, and Goodyear Studios and it, it's great because most of the about artists is you need to have a community or well, it's really important to have a community and all the student spaces, you, they're all open. You can all see what everyone is doing and how they're working. And you can go around and talk and discuss. And um, you're getting constant feedback from your peers and from your professors. Yeah, some of my professors, especially the visiting ones, say, you know, enjoy your studio while you have it because you're not going to have anything as big after this. They give you the space. They give you the go-ahead. And it's up to the student to really make the most of it. As far as Dickinson, I mean, studios were amazing to have as an undergraduate. I mean, I think I was a sophomore when I started with a studio here in Goodyear. And I used it for three years, and I used it as much as I could. The Cubiculo downtown, the theater, we use that. The students run that and do our own shows. So it's really up to the student to take advantage of it, but it's there for the, the taking. And you really get a space where you can actually work. I think what makes us distinctive is the number of ensembles that we, that we support. I believe it's rather unusual in a liberal arts college to support the number of ensembles that we do. We have the, the Dickinson College Community Choir, the College Community Orchestra, the Jazz Ensemble. On top of that, we have a symphonic band. We have a small select choral ensemble, which is the Collegium. And we also do a musical every other year. So there's pretty much everything in terms of the standard large ensembles that you would find at any large music school. Engaging the arts at Dickinson College means more than exhibitions and performances. These activities are a link to a global community and perspective. As a Dickinson artist, you may study abroad, finding the connections between your study in the classroom and the arts on their home turf. 
For example, students have studied the Sistine Chapel during a private viewing, have painted in the fields of southern France, and been given a backstage view of the London theater. In addition, this engagement with the arts overseas is brought to campus by visiting scholars and faculty who perform or pursue research around the globe. The Dickinson community gives you the opportunity to explore the world on campus and off, helping you to discover your place in the global art community. I'd heard a lot about Dickinson's um, ability to send students um, internationally, and that was a big draw for me. I mean, we toured all over Italy, Rome, um, Naples, and I mean, we got two hours alone in the Sistine Chapel, like just my class, 20 people just alone for two hours. It was wonderful. Mr. Jackson Lee, who's from China, and he gave us a talk. He'd made this movie about <coughs> Chinese pottery, and it was really interesting. Plus, we had an exhibition of his yesterday, and that was re it was really something. I mean, his sculpture was so different from anything that any of us had seen. I think that the college, since it is so internationally minded, it, it, it is reflected in all of the classes that you take and in the whole entire atmosphere. I think that one of the primary things for me is in dance, there's a lot of the students that go abroad and they come back and they share their experiences and the people that have gone to Spain in the past have come back and taught us flamenco dancing and I mean that was really fun and it, and it brought a different sense to the dance. Most of our students junior year are off overseas and we'd love to have them here in our productions and that sort of thing but the experience they're having over there is again such a such a I won't say essential but such a, a wonderful complement to what they're doing here. Most people know that Dickinson produces successful alumni in business, law, and medicine. The same level of achievement is clearly visible for our arts alumni. There are 15 alumni working at the National Gallery. Dickinsonians have won Tony and Olivier Awards, and one is a violinist with the Philadelphia Orchestra. An alumnus is a famous photographer and one of the creators of the Day in the Life series of books. Another Dickinson grad is a prize-winning television producer and a member of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Dickinsonians are comedians, video music choreographers, fashion designers and executives, actors, educators, entrepreneurs, and the list goes on. But they all have something in common. The arts at Dickinson College and the ability to connect with fellow Dickinsonians to share experiences, knowledge, and a love of learning. It's really remarkable what our students have gone on to do. And I'd, I'd say we're, we're, we look back and, and consider with equal pride those people who are winning court cases or those people who are selling potato chips with good advertising or those people who are winning Tony Awards and that sort of thing. And we've got all of them. The Career Center has a um, connection of alums and if you want to get an internship or, or talk to them about careers you can go there and they have a, a list of people that are willing to help and I think that that's something that I, I'm going to take advantage of in the future and I think it's very important. We have lots of connections and they're all in my experience very approachable people who very much are proud of and are happy to foster their Dickinson connections. Benjamin Rush, the college's founder, was emphatic that the college be revolutionary in its curriculum and provide a useful education that was engaged actively with the wider world. This commitment has grown even stronger during the ensuing centuries. Ultimately, education must be useful to our society, and everything we do at Dickinson is aimed at that goal. The result is an educational experience that lasts a lifetime. And what music does is sort of gives you makes you, or art, any art, makes you think creatively so you can find a way to, to move around a problem. The extremely well-rounded program that we have here for the arts, it helps integrate you into the professional field if that's where you're headed towards. I know specifically a senior this year who is planning on becoming a professional dancer and I think she's very well prepared. When I graduate, if I decide that, you know, that job in computer science looks interesting, I can still do that because my focus is more than just music. I know how to do coding. I know French. I've learned a little bit of Japanese. I've taken economics courses. A liberal arts college is one of the most amazing things you can do for yourself as a student because you're getting all kinds of resources and you're meeting all kinds of people 
and you're exposed to all the different disciplines. And as an art student, I think it's incredibly valuable to go to a school like that. Um, my art, me, my job, nothing would be the way it is if I hadn't gone to a liberal arts school. Um, my knowledge of all these different subjects and my willingness to accept those other subjects and look at them and think about them makes me unique out there. And the, the students that go to conservatories and art institutes and things, they just don't have that edge. Oh, <laughs> 